All right. Let's see. Are we on? I think we're live here. Are we? This is live 25 seconds, so I think we are. I see you too. Oh my gosh, we got this going. Okay, good. So, Everett, <laughs> um, I want you to read um, questions as they come through, and we can talk to people about their art, about making good. art, Sorry, and all that kind of stuff. Someone asked a question. So okay. It's good. Oh, it's working. Okay, hey, how are you guys doing? Sorry about that. Um, so we finally got it working. Hello. Um, By the way, this is my special guest, Everett. This is my youngest son, and um, yeah, I wanted to have him involved in this as well. Hello. Yeah, I can't believe that we had that little mishap. Um, looks like they have an encoder thing you have to do on YouTube to get these things to work, so. So we couldn't really undo it, so, but we got it done. So how are you guys spending your quarantine out there, everybody? Oh yeah, yeah, my son is the one who got it working, oh. Craig. <laughs> you just pretend, okay. pretend it was you, okay? okay? So this has been my art buddy over here since uh, this whole quarantine stuff happened. So I've been able to sit and teach him some drawing stuff, some important things such as one point perspective and how to do, um, uh, what else do we do? Well, I, lettering, we were working with lettering well, and making yeah, them look I 3D. Kinda, I kind of got that done. So. Yeah. What's your favorite tool to draw with? Um, my finger on Procreate. Your finger on Procreate? I don't use them, the pen because... Um, Why don't you use the pencil, the Apple Pencil? One, I, um, I don't think... Speak I, clearly, Tom. One, I don't think I, um, Isaac would appreciate it. Why, because did you break the other one? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You um, want to tell them what happened? You broke the Apple Pencil. Person. Rob, so. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, here we go. I'm going to get this one up, too. Uh, and that way we can look at... Chat. Okay, there we go. Um, so when we had this thing up and the screen was all black, again, my apologies for that. Um, I feel like we lost so many people that were going to watch this thing. I feel bad. I, I should have known better to fully test out the other stuff the from the Macintosh. Yeah, someone said they're like hyped, so... Um, oh, you're in Macintosh. Glasgow, Scotland. Awesome. Um, it what's is pretty up? nice. Hey, what's up, Big Ray? It's pretty nice over here. Uh, I think it's about to start raining, though. So, who knows? Oh, what was that? Is there Lone Hawk there Whitlock, is, is there ever a time that you think you only have a few hours left on a piece, but after those few hours, realize that there is still a few hours more to go on it. I always pretty much know when it's time to stop the painting. I have a goal I'm I'm heading for. I, I've never really had the problem of um, not knowing what I'm supposed to be, when I'm supposed to finish a piece. I sent the word out that you're back on. Oh, thanks, man. Hello, Australia. Um, thank you. Oh yeah, where's everybody from? Type in where you're from. Uh, where are you from? Don't say. Don't never ever tell people where you live. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, All right. Uh, unless unless they have a van full of candy and puppies, <laughs> that's okay. What do you do if a van pulls up and it has puppies and candy? I watched that SNL video. You watched that SNL video. Okay. Aren't you supposed to say, get in that van? That's bad advice, right? Yeah. That's bad advice. Don't ever do that. Africans. From, somebody's Wait, from Africa? And they don't like it, I guess. Oh, somebody's or from Africa. Africans. Where does it say? Mm -hmm. Oh, right there. Wow. Somebody's from Africa. Somebody's from Norfolk in the UK. Brazil. Um, oh, oh long, uh, San Pedro. All right. Good oh, in kid. Tennessee now. Good kid. Now, San Pedro is out kid, by us. Yes. Um, let's scroll down. He's from Brazil. Wow. Okay, Slovakia. Too. Wow. People from all over. Quebec. Oh, we've been there. Austin. You Texas. haven't been there. I've been to Texas. Quebec. Texas. Austin, Texas. Wait, you're in the capital. I did an art show with my friend Lola Gill in Montreal many years ago when my oldest son was probably three years old and we went up to Quebec. It was beautiful. Sweden. 
France. Okay, here's one of the reasons okay. I wanted to have everybody on here. I just I wanted to spend time with my son. He thought this would be fun. But the main reason is I'm about to drop another video of a painting I made in a, a 20 minute video. And after this little chat we're having, I'm going to post it live. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's another octopus to add to my octopus garden. Um, also, if anybody has any um, painting questions that I can answer right now, I'm happy to answer. So let's hear some questions. Has everybody been drawing, by the way? I hope everybody's keeping sketchbooks during this time. It's good to document your thoughts, your ideas, and where you're at, even in like a hard time like uh, this quarantine that we're all in and this pandemic. So it'd be really cool yeah, to, see, to hear if anybody's been keeping their drawing. You want to see Everett's shirt? Stand up and show him your shirt, Phantom. This is of the painting Phantom, which is right behind us. So, which is also a nickname this kid has. So, okay. he's like a dangerous, scary Phantom. Hey, how do you draw or paint so real, so realistically? Um, that's actually a good question. You keep really good reference around. You need to know how things look. Um, if you want to paint a Coca-Cola bottle. I also like to do shades and shadows. It's good to have a Coca-Cola bottle around so you can do all your study off of this Coca-Cola bottle. I saw um, the painting a weasel with like, um, a, um, like his iPad in front of him um, with a picture of a weasel like for reference. Yes, this is this is. the weasel you're talking about that I was drawing? I just started it. It's not finished, so yeah, don't judge me, everybody. I, I like it. Do you I like it? more cartoony styles. So you like more of a cartoony style like... Yeah. Like this weasel right here? Uh, sure. So I'm really into like, weasels right now. So like, not really, um, like how you, um, like Dabs and Myla. Like Dabs and Myla? Yeah, they're, they're some of my favorite artists, too. Thank you. So he is always telling me, like, I like your work, Dad, but I really like Dabs and Myla's work. They're my favorite. Good thing they like you, too. So yeah. they're like family to us. How do you get into the mindset before drawing? I don't know. I think I'm always in that mindset. No, that's not true. I'll open up my sketchbook. This is the one I have going right here. Backwards printed. Oh, it's also Phantom. And I'll start doing um, graffiti letters like this. Let me find a page just, just full of them. Oh, Dabs and Myla. Like right here. So I'll do just oh, graffiti letters. Oh, there's there's your mommy. She said she said hi. So I'll just start doing tags and graffiti letters until I start getting into like a, a flow and I'm warmed up. Then I start doing little characters, little cartoon characters. And then sometimes I'll drop into doing stuff like this, can, which will be Where can you, um, where idea can sketches. Um, they buy your art? What's that? Where can they buy your art? On the website, gregsimkinsart.com. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Mark Ryden's art? He's amazing. Um, he's one of the people I looked up to in the beginning, like Robert Williams, Todd Shore, Mark Ryden, Gary Baseman, oh, um, so Van Arno, rest in peace. Unfortunately, he okay, passed but, a couple days ago. Okay, just start. Yeah. Um, okay. How do you blend acrylic paint so well? Lots of practice. Um, um, sometimes it looks like it's blending. I got, I got the answer for this one, bud. Um, you're, I'm dry, I'm not really blending the colors. I'll lay down a color, let it dry, put a color, you know, the blend I want it to look like above it, blend out that edge to transparent on it, let that dry. So that it looks like that color on top blended, was blended with that color below. But in reality, there's separate layers of paint. They were just really thin. Ron English, what do you think of him? I love him. I've actually had dinner with him, hung out with him. Um, Quinn? he's such a great guy. Um, he's a good friend. Like, I'm not close friends with him, but he's he's just a good friend to have, and I, I respect that guy since way before I met him. He's so amazing. What? Uh, what's your favorite what? of your dad's favorite? Which painting do you like of mine the most? Probably one like that one. The big one, Rabbit Season? Um, Should we show them? Yeah. Do you guys want to see Rabbit Season? Let's go see Rabbit Season. I'm going to unplug here. Boop. Oh, there's my garbage pail. The base is still in, but... The charger's out. We only have a couple pieces in here for a little bit of time, but. This is also cool. That's rabbit season. This is go outside down there. Oh, I'm about to drop my phone. You like Phantom a lot, so I know. Actually, I'm gonna put this back here because something weird just happened on the screen and we don't want to lose connection again because I feel stupid about how that happened earlier. 
art and fiction. I used to watch your videos when I was younger. You really, when I, you were younger, you make me feel old. I guess I am old because I got these guys. Do well, you use any symbolism in your paintings, like coded messages where an animal stands in for something? Yes, I do. I'm not going to tell you all of it, though. That's some stuff I can tell you. You inspire me to continue to grow as an artist. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Pansy Delphi. The infinite corner. How do you push through the process, or what are your thoughts on efficiency? I don't know how I push through. I think I really love painting, so the process to me is exciting. Like, getting in here is like the number one thing for me. Um, I can't stay clean. What's, I can't stay clean? Wait, paint messy, I like to paint messy too. Um, yeah, pushing through is not a big deal to me. I, I like to listen to podcasts, music, radio, movies, whatever, and so that stuff's like in the background and I'm painting, I get lost in the painting, next thing you know, it's been an entire day. I like so. to, um, yeah, when you write, do it's kind of messy, like not too messy, just a little messy, and when it's small, it looks good. What's that? When you when you yeah, write small and a, and a little sloppy to make it look good. You like to do it sloppy. I, I like good. cursive. All right, are we still connected? Yeah. I figure. I love figure and how to fix my mistakes. I like your hair. Uh, who's? Hair? Hey, they like your hair. I like your hair too. We're both getting I, haircuts tomorrow, though, if everything goes right. Yeah, because I do not like long hair. An outdoor haircut. Like last night, I took a sh when I took a shower, um, it like soaked into my hair so much that, um, it um, um, mom said yes, we're still connected. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little late. Um, so it, when my um hair and when I put my robe on, it just damped the robe. Oh, really? So it's. So I don't like long hair. Yeah, your brother likes long hair. He's and staring at us through the window. I don't like the look at it. I don't like the look of it. Oh, um, he's out there jumping on the trampoline. Okay. All right, who, who's got some questions? Come on, more technical questions. Or I can scroll back and see what I've missed. Is computer-generated art kind of cheating by Lori Kane? Not at all. Why would it be cheating? I think you should use every tool at your disposal. Maybe. Artists over er the years in every discipline have used everything at their disposal to help them and maybe they mean um um taking um art on the internet and saying it's you mean you mean stealing art no yeah. i don't think she's asking if you yeah, steal okay. art off yeah. the internet and say it's yours that's definitely cheating well, there are so many oh, people looks good, yeah. i got a i got a thing a rant about cheating just growing up in the graffiti world um there were so many like rules like oh you're cheating if you if you put some tape down or you're cheating if you use this different tip when you're spraying it's like after a while it's like wow i'm listening to all these people saying what cheating is well, i'm just well that's like the culture and like tricks that's not cheating like Ex um, um my brother and um me were playing or i was playing in um a cul-de-sac with um two other kids and we were on a team and and then um and then, like, I, don't, I couldn't remember the signal, but the signal is, like, something, like, surround. So, like, we surround, like, um, we came in on them on both sides, and they were stuck. Uh-huh. So it was cheating, but it's just war strategy. It's strategies, right? Yeah. You use strategies to help you complete the project. Like, if I have an idea in my head and I want to put it on a wall or on a canvas, I'm going to use my tools. So... Yeah, I, I do use computers a lot when I lay things out, but I'm drawing and, and, and resizing on the Thank computer you. and drawing. But I also, it's what got me my early jobs working in video games, working in fashion design, and everything that has brought me to the point where I'm at today. So I say learn every medium, learn all that you can, and don't ever stop learning. I still have so much to learn. I daily keeping myself drawing lessons, watching drawing lessons on YouTube. What'd you see? Did you see a question? Um, thank you, Chris, um, Christine, uh, Graham. Yeah, whatever you can do to get the job done, correct. Um, do okay. you like I, airbrushing? That's actually, Isaac changed his thing oh, to that, not... so he's, um, in our, he's in our stream. Is he? Oh. Yeah. It says, him. do you like airbrushing? I like airbrushing. I don't use them. I, I should get one and mess around with it. I think it's a cool tool. Do you use clear coat to make things pop? Um, I do varnish every piece, but I don't use a glossy. I use a satin varnish, and it and it it levels out whatever I was painting. If I'm painting with matte paint and glossy paint, it can kind of distract your eye with different light hits it. When you put that last coat, I put a satin coat, it evens everything out. It looks real buttery. 
I think um Chris um Christine is only talking to me and he said I can draw like your dad. Can you draw like your dad? He draws better than I do. Wait, oh wait. Bonjour de France. Hey, wait, hello. Do you know France. who that is? I don't. Uh, any thoughts on efficiency like composition or your setup for around the painting area, blocking out time, etc.? I don't think I'm very efficient, to be honest. I think I'm very messy. A lot of you have seen my palette that I use. I don't <laughs> set up a special palette. I have my, my paint stand and I pull out my paints for the day and I know what colors I like to work with and I set it up and start painting and if I get pulled away from it after I set out all my paints I get really cranky because it dries and then I gotta set them out again. And I um, also... Well, real quick, let me answer this. Will you ever do a master class for people who want to do that with you? I've done many. I used to do, a, once a year I would do a class in a different state and we'd set it up like a master class. I'd do, um, and yeah, well, a seminar, that's the word I'm looking for. I did a seminar at different places around the country but right now, obviously, we can't do that in a quarantine, so maybe a master class online might be something to happen in the future, teaching acrylic painting. Do you ever get bored with some paintings? I, lo I lose the will to live with some of mine. No, I try to set something new out. Every, and every day I paint, I want to try something new, learn something new. If you're giving yourself little goals, it doesn't get boring. Recommendations for finding resources and study material. For example, if you want to study rabbits, where would you find a wealth of quality reference photos to study? It's... It's pretty easy these days. You got the internet. I, there, there's a wealth of like, there's photography blogs on there. There's Pinterest and Google, but like, just find as many images as you possibly can. I generally start drawing from imagination first, and then I go looking for reference that would kind of fit what I drew and what my ideas are, and then I fine tune all my Stop ideas. Fish, Isaac. Is that Isaac posting a little fish? Yes. Are you sure that's our Isaac? Yes, he's the one obsessed with the fish. How often do babies. I take a break? I don't know. I, I, I don't time them. <laughs> Was it hard turning your art into 3D for your vinyl toys and vinyl figures? It's a little hard when I have to draw turnarounds. But Luckily, like... I'm pretty... But it's kind of easy with, like, 3D. Like, um, like, basic 3D is pretty easy. But, um, shadowing is a little harder. And right. Isaac, stop it. It's okay if Isaac's posting a little fish. And also that, um, and also that is, um, the, that is also, um, his profile picture. So okay. that's how Let me, let me tell them real quick. So if I'm doing a toy, generally a lot of people I work with make it easy by, um, so I'm getting distracted because my oldest son keeps running up to the window over here trying to get our attention. No, Everett, sit down. And he's the one who holds me. Yeah, come here, sit down. Um, so if I'm gonna turn it into a toy, I used to have to draw turnarounds, but I've been working with some people and it was very lucky to work with the people at Sideshow Collectibles and Unruly Industries. And I'd give a nice three quarter drawing of the character and they were able to make Thank you, Cork. Make it, make the toy 3D. Okay. Thank you, Cork. I'll thank Lord's Amen. Do you ever use a projector for bigger pieces? Yes, I do. Um, I use a grid system and a projector. So I'll project some of it and I'll grid the rest of it. it, it it's, I never use just one. Sometimes I'll do a paper transfer where you use um, like transfer paper and put it underneath a sheet yeah, of paper. Cool. And you know, there's such a variety of way of transferring. Uh, grids are really good. Um, uh, Smo Nova has a really good doodle grid that he I watched on his channel. I'm like, wow, this is, Amazing. It's a really good way to transfer your art, especially onto a large wall. Uh, Doodle Grid is like invaluable. I, I wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for him. Oh, my wife just said she's got Isaac. Very good. That's funny. How to get ideas. Um, I don't know. That's the one thing I cannot teach. What do you think about ideas? Do you, um, you just get weird things pop in your head and you draw well, it down? I try down. to like um, doodle a bit and then try to get an idea from it. That's exactly a really good way of doing it. Do some free drawing. See what happens. Um, I want to go back. Your son is curious and ambitious. You're going to have your hands full. I know both my kids. I have my hands full. Yeah. Your paintings look like places I'd love to visit. Me too. That's why I paint them. That's why I call the world the outside. So. Like look, there's. Do I have mad dreams? Just like yes. Saturn. Like that's like sad, um, moon with Saturn rings. I know. So, what's your magic to get a clean, smooth surface on a canvas? Mine. Mine is even, oh, I got, I got this for you. Even like canvas, but raw dimple. Okay, 
Andreas Shade, I got you. I have a video on Trakel's YouTube page about how to prime a panel or canvas. It's a panel on that one, but it works on canvas. What I do, I'll do many layers of gesso um, with a smooth roller. I have it all in the video. Um, put a layer, let it dry, sand it. Do a layer, let it dry, sand it with uh, various grades um, of sandpaper. So I usually end with like 180 or 220, and then you get a smooth surface. And I even put a coat of matte medium after that, and it's the best surface. And also, uh, wait, Blue Jay has um, been visiting lately. Have you seen him? Um, no. What do we call a Blue Jay? Our Blue Jay? Um, Breeze. No, Breeze is the one that isn't the with guy. us anymore. Oh, this is Beaks, Mr. Beaks. Oh. My, I have a, a scrub Jay that come and vi comes and visits me in the studio, and I leave peanuts and uh, mealworms out for him. And he's got a messed up beak that never closes right, so we call him Beaks. And he, I always know he's around. He'll squawk at me from the kitchen window or through my son's room window. And when I'm in my studio, he's at it all day. So that's what they're asking um, about. Um, also, um, for um, shadows, you could also like put um, up an item and like um, turn off um, the lights like with a certain angle of light. Um, and like the shade, you can like try to see what the how, shadows look like. Yeah, yeah, like what it would look like for the certain shape. So you're you're setting up an idea. So your idea is, if you can draw something in three D, you set up an actual item in front of you. Or shadows. And you put the light on it so you can see where the shadows lie. So and this this is a teacup I plan on painting. So I got one so I could set it up and draw it and do exactly what he just said. Put a light on it, study it. Know where the light and the highlights go. Where there's a light right there. Yeah, well, there's, there's a light right there. Can I ask you how? Can I ask you how you move your paint around so well? You have flawless. Deal. I don't. It's messy. Trust me. I start off messy and I work to refine. So it might look clean and perfect, but it's not. <laughs> it starts off really sloppy and then I work my way to tight. Do you think backgrounds are just as important as foreground? Yes. And no, sometimes I don't even have a background, but. Um, they can Every piece is, yeah, every painting is different. It's and like um, words and um, um, like... Tags. Yes, yeah, spray paint back on that painting over there. You probably can't see it. Yeah, I don't think you could see it, but it's there. Are you doing a painting to make a movie? I can't tell you. I mean, we already got... Um... No. Um, best way to avoid muddy colors. Um, I don't know. Maybe. It's acrylic, it's not like oils. Oils, it's easier to get muddier in. How do you cancel an order on your site? I sent it to my old address. Ooh, that's a question for my wife. Jen, could you answer that one? She'll type in I an think answer. She's, It'll be I under, think she's on. She's on under Jennifer Simpkins. But um, sometimes it like goes blank and then a bunch of comments come in, so we're gonna have to like. Oh yeah. Um, uh, let me go back. Owen Korg came you back. Doing, uh, let's see. Do you mix colors on the palette? If so, how do you keep them from drying in five minutes on the palette? Yes, I do mix on the palette. Um, sometimes I mix in bottles. I have lots Wait, of bottles of color. And they go dry. But they don't go dry too fast. I use it on fluid acrylics. I don't use heavy body. So. Subgrades. Oil is hard to blend. Shaking my head. Um, no, oil isn't that. I mean, I'm not an expert oil painter. So but when I've used it, I, I enjoy the blendability of it. How do you practice imagination? I just draw every day. Yeah, oh. like the doodle thing I was talking about. Like I doodle, I just do random things. Sometimes I squiggle and try to see what I can see out of it. Right. Of if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, just draw every day. Keep an active sketchbook. You're going to, uh, you're going to find that your imagination grows. And you know, read or it's... listen to. I listen to stories. I listen to Aesop's fables and Did like, you ever watch cartoons. Paint? What was that? Did you ever still paint? Did I ever still paint? <laughs> no. Uh, you know, I've never, no. Just because a lot of my friends have, but I've, I, that's one thing I never felt right about. So I know as a graffiti guy, you're supposed to steal your paint, but I never stole my paint. Oh, I've been working Africa. since I was 12. I earned my own money. I bought my own paint. And my favorite artist. So no, I personally struggle with edges. How do you separate objects in your paint from blurring together? Oh, that's a good question. I usually keep two brushes with me. I'll lay the paint down with one brush and keep a drier, damp brush, and I'll blend off the excess of it. That way, you get a clean edge that has a blend. Or um, in Procreate, um, where the layers don't work, uh, when I color um, over thing, I just um, go back with the outlining and then like draw over it, 
it looks cool how it's like thick some other parts and more thin. That's right. That Somebody, somebody's asking, how did you get into CBS? It was in 1993. I went to a meeting with my buddy Circus. I met all the guys, saw some of their books and the photos of the work and said, I suck. I can't get into this crew. Went and did my own thing on the freeways and around with my friends and walls and whatnot. And in 97 I, or 98, my buddy Nato brought me back around and I got in the crew. Smart guy. Um, by oh, the thank way, you, Arish. My, I, I think he's wonderful you. and smart too. Thank you. Can't, I, can't. I can't watch this live chat, but I hope you do more live chats. Well, we'll do more. Yeah, we. I um, use Golden High. I put transparent gesso and don't sand it. Just paint it very cream texture. Nice. Um, Germany, we we're we're we. White Maybe. Blossom is in Germany. Wow, we're talking people all over the world right now. Can yeah. you tell everybody what's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math, right? Um, by the way, what? Um, so I actually I think I forgot a question I was gonna um ask you. What were you gonna ask? Me? Um Oh yeah, what was your top what is your top three um what's your top three states that watch you? I have no idea. I think Los Angeles, New York, and I th think New Mexico. I forget. I've I looked on uh, stuff before. Okay. Wait, that's Looking for more questions. Anybody have more questions? Wow, this thing's almost Germany. gone 30 minutes. Oh, somebody in Denmark. Hello, Denmark. Hi. I'm Cleveland. Sorry. I'm in Napa, but I'm a Dane too. Very cool. Um, New Jersey. Okay, how about questions? I just did um, two paintings for a, a <laughs> wonderful know. person in Denmark, and I can't wait to show you the video after this Netherlands, live chat of one of them. UK, United Kingdom, Washington State. Hello from Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. What's up, Vegas? I can't wait to go back to Vegas. I think that is How many matte medium glazes do you apply while painting? Uh, I usually do the one after I put the drawing on. And after that, I'll paint through. Sometimes if area is getting too glossy, I'll do another coat of matte medium. I, I It could vary. What's up, Houston, Texas? Chicago. I have family in Houston. What kind of music do you list, like when drawing? I listen to all kinds of music. Um, I listen to my own techno music. You like techno music? I like. Yeah, my main favorite's probably Angel Voices. Oh, okay. I like like post hardcore stuff, but li to be honest, I listen to um, Studio Ghibli soundtracks when I'm drawing. Ooh, Mars Volta. Love Mars Volta. What am I working yeah. on now? I'm working on a bunch of stuff I can't show you right now. <laughs> Sneak peek. Yeah. Techno is cool. Yeah, I like it. Is he your only son? No, no. I have, an, I have an, a 13 year old also. The one that was um, um, trying to peek into typing the... the fish is. Oh, yeah, he was typing a fish into the chat. Any, any oh, here we go. Oh. Does the angle of your canvas make a difference how easy it is to paint it? For example, if the canvas is flat or vertical, um, it depends on the size of the paste, painting. That, it's all, it only depends on the size of the painting. If it's mm. small, I like a flat one. If it's big, I'm keeping it upright. Thank you. I've been having trouble with layering my colors. Could you tell me a typical way you order the lights and darks? I know it's different each painting. Ooh, that is tough. It is different. Um, sometimes I go in with a mid-tone, start laying in the highlights, bring down the shadows, and then I'll, and once the highlights go up, I'll let it dry and I'll glaze it back down with some color, whatever the color is going to be, and then I'll bring highlights back into that and then glaze it down again. That way I build up, um, it gives it depth and you have a, like lots of layers. Um, Has Geiger ever oh. played an influence in your art? Not really. That's or Geiger. Uh, I, I've always liked Wait, this work, Anticor. but it was never like like the main stuff I went for towards. Yeah, I was like a big Frazetta fan as a little kid. Oh, and this is a good one. When you st well, maybe not as a little kid, my parents would kill me if they caught me looking at Frazetta paintings when I was little. Are you a fan of Guillermo del Toro? Of course. Did you ever abandon a canvas that didn't seem to work out? A couple times. I kind of want. Uh, There's a few. Um, I am also, uh, feel free to ask any Procreate questions, because I can also... Oh yeah, he can help you with some Procreate questions. I started back producing music, really into EDM, Stevie Aoki was a good sound. Very cool. How many times did you change your layout on your canvas? I do that all in pencil, and you know, I do that all preliminary. I, I work out my composition till it's ready to be transferred in paint. That way I don't have to change it when it's on the canvas. I like to leave open spaces in an idea. So when it's on the canvas, I have freedom to um, come up with something new, to be spontaneous and improv. So yeah, I, I do improvise on the canvas when I'm going. Do you do commission work? Yes, I do. Um, 
what turned you on to surrealism? Looking at um, Salvador Dali and Magritte books on the coffee table growing up. I got really influenced in that. Do you think um, the studio... Should the music influence the emotion of the painting? Ah, uh, maybe subconsciously. Yeah, I love uh, Miyazaki and I love all those movies that are what are the brushes so you important. What are the brushes you use? I use Trekel, T-R-E-K-E-L-L -L dot com. Um, that's where to get them. Um, I'm a sponsored on their pro team and I have my own sets. Okay. Series 9 just sold out, Japan. so we're going to have to wait till next Halloween for Series 10. I apologize. It's morning from Japan for someone. Wow. Okay, what's like this? Pit, like... Should artists focus on commissions or a body of work? I think a body of work. I, I focus on bodies of work. And I do an occasional commission. What's the best brush for hair? Oh, for fur? I adore your mouth. Okay, uh, best brush for hair and fur is a dagger brush. I have daggers they have them at trakel.com and various sizes they're a wonderful brush for doing fur and all that kind of stuff do you have a typical thing when doodling do you have typical things you go to and work from to get your composition um i set up a little picture of the golden mean you know the, the spiral and then i kind of try to go by that i always draw when i'm composing things in threes i don't know why i do that it just naturally comes off i have something here in here something has to go down here and then I'll have all these sets of threes in a painting that it just randomly do it. Do you have any tips on compositions and paintings? Uh, draw lots of thumbnails. Um, set up a page where you have a bunch of rectangles the size of your canvas and draw it if you like the very first one you did, the composition. Mm -hmm. Just do do two or three and more. Also you could also do use green screens. Green screens? What's the magical, um, what's the magical number rule of thirds? There's a magical number rule of thirds, yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, Scotland. Okay, I missed oh. one. I like to incorporate. Oh, hello from Scotland. <laughs> oh, you like to incorporate Hanna Barbera characters in some of your work. How do you get around copyrighted materials? So, um, there's a parody law out there that protects artists who are making a statement using uh, copyrighted characters. And if you change it like 10% or something like that, you're pretty much covered. Those are usually the rules. Um, let me see. Um, you Any you advice on making it. workspace? I don't know. I've had various kinds of workspaces. I've worked in um, 1,200 square foot warehouses, which I loved. Now I'm at this, uh, out, I have a home studio now, which is set outside of the house, which is nice. I can walk out and unlock the door and come in here and it's well lit. Um, I like this now just because I could be near my family, especially it's been invaluable during the quarantine. I get to be around these little booker pickers. Okay, let's see. Uh, Dolly is my favorite instrument when you were in an exhibition. Do you have... When you have an exhibition, do you have a set theme in mind? Yes, I do. Um, my last show was called Let the, the Outside In, and it was all about the world, the outside that I paint, and the characters, namely um, my main characters, which I call the Starry Nights, were the focus of that show. Hello. Hola, Hola. Hola. Would you personally sponsor an artist no I wouldn't well, sponsor an artist an artist sponsoring another artist I don't know if that makes sense um, yeah, I don't think they appreciate the question though but I, I don't understand I don't think that would be I don't know if that makes sense I, how long did the I stunning painting behind you take in real time that's always the toughest question I always on these videos I get asked how long something took and, and all the comments people ask how long they took I generally don't answer it just because I don't keep track um, I it that one I can't even remember, a couple months, probably a couple months. Um, and then I do have a set question I, I do put out there in the world. I, I always say it took 45 years to paint it because it took me my whole lifetime to figure out how to paint something as fast or how slow it took me to paint that piece. But that, a few months on that one. Would you collaborate with um, another artist and who? Would you collaborate? Um, okay. I have collaborated with a few artists, well, many artists, but I don't generally choose to collaborate with artists on paintings, but I, the ones I have collaborated with, I've had such an enjoyment. Uh, my friend Lola Gill, we did some really cool paintings together. Uh, my friends Dabs and Myla, uh, my friend Joe Ledbetter. Um, gosh, I know I'm spacing out. I don't want to leave anybody out. I've collaborated with Bob Dobb, Alex Pardee. Um, this other person made sense with, that, with their comment, said, um, um, like that each of your paintings like tells a story, like, He's over oh, Command Z I, I collaborated with. <laughs> um, Thanks, Jen. Okay, let me see. 
Oh yeah, the, the paintings tell a story. Yeah, the, the painting story is all tied together also. If, if you look, there's always like a keyhole leading through into another world and I'll paint that other world and it has this keyhole painting back into that other painting. I, I tie the paintings together. They have triggers that will set you off onto a rabbit hole into the other painting and stuff like that. That's very important to me when I paint. Okay, you can also go down this one. Everett, do you plan on following in your dad's footsteps? Do you no. want to be an artist or do you want to be a scientist? What is it that you wanted to be this week? Um, I want to be, um, I want to, like, be more of a, um, person that, like, YouTuber. No, you don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, we're gonna, we're still figuring out. Does your son do art too? Yes, he does. He likes to draw. Craig, you and Ron in English are my favorite thriller artists. So y'all keep, oh, thank you. Can you Science. use one of your paintings for an album cover? <laughs> uh, it, you have to talk to my wife about commissioning uh, album cover art. She does all the business. I know you can't do it for free. Do you always start a painting with a toned background? I do. I don't like starting a painting on a white canvas because that doesn't seem... I like it on a neutral, mid-tone I'd say he pa um, starts at like um, more like 9-ish and ends at like 6, like 9 a.m. and ends at... Um, 6 p.m.? Yeah, 6 p.m. Somebody asked, how long, what time of day do I paint? No, like, um, how much hours? Oh, how many hours so do you So I paint? guess... Um, 6 to 9? Oh, 9 to 6, you're right. That's when I paint. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's how long. And not the weekends. I'll just draw on the weekends and sit on the couch with the kids and draw. Okay, three. How many paintings can you have on the go at the same time, at one time? I usually just do one painting at a time, and I'm working on the drawings for the ne next ones at night. Do I ever paint nine 10 days? Oh my gosh, great question. Do I ever I think nine hours. attempt painting outdoors? Um, it's funny, I just um, bought a, a set of gouache to start doing some outdoor plein air paintings. Um, I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm about to start, so that's funny that you asked that. Okay, do you... How long did you... your work did it take? Was on the Montana anniversary. I think he sketches his um I think he sketches his canvases. Oh uh, the Beyond the Streets right. piece, no strings. You're asking how long did it take me to do that the nine foot painting? That took many months. I'm not, not sure exactly how many, but it took a lot. Maybe a year. What is the biggest canvas you have ever painted? I just said no nine feet. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I painted a, a sixteen foot no yeah, sixteen foot painting. Um wow. How much um, did that take, like three years? No, because it was actually, it was only four feet tall and 16 feet long. Mm -hmm. And it was a very, it was a, like, like, it was an image of like a, a cloud morphing into a girl. And so it didn't take as long as the nine foot painting did. It, it oh. always changes. If there's little details in a piece, the Pearl Thief took me maybe five months to paint because there's, it's such big details to tiny, minuscule details, and so small details that get you. But um, someone asked, um, do they do, um, do you do painting workshops? I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, I've already, yeah, uh, I have yeah, done like painting gray, workshops. Yeah, um, Greg Simpkins a shop. Okay, how old were you paint, um, when, when you I started? When I started sketching and painting? Sorry, I should let you finish reading that. No, I, I did. Okay. Um, <laughs> or you did. I was younger than him when I started sketching and drawing. I didn't start painting painting till I was 17. And that was with spray paint first. I did painting with just spray paint and just doing all my drawings with markers and pens and ink until I picked up a paintbrush and started painting with acrylics when I was probably yeah. 20. What's a um, pearl thief? Um, was that one of your paintings? Yes, that's one of my large paintings. You've seen um, it before. Um, I'll probably I show it to you. I don't really, um... Wait, what's the name of that? Because I don't really know the names of stuff. I'll tell you in a sec. This person asked a really yeah. good question. It said, um, do you do color composition, uh, color comp when planning in a piece? Yes, I do. I do color comps. I might do a quick Photoshop color comp. Sometimes I'll take a, a scrap piece of canvas and I'll paint a color comp just real quick just to see what the color mood should be. But I think it makes it a lot easier when you go to your, your main piece. And you don't have to think about it as much. Doing big paintings, you got to have the patience of a snail. That's true, but I prefer doing a big painting to a small painting because you can pack in so much more detail and texture. It's just, there's nothing like it. Like, and once you get that final photo and 
if you were to make a print, it shrinks it down, just tightens everything up. Big paintings are really fun to paint. And when you step back and you look at a piece like Let the Outside In or Good Night or Where Am I, you stand back and you're in front of it, it just feels like you're in that world. Do you? Do you like to pre-design your paintings on computer? Yeah, well I draw it by hand and I throw it in Photoshop and I chop it around, move it around, size it to the size of the canvas, and then I Love go from there. Love your choices, like the, um, the rabbits and the rabbits, owls, and cool fictional characters. Would you be up to using all new animals on upcoming painting? I'm actually, I, like I said really, I'm, I'm about to start doing some paintings with weasels and stuff that I'm into, but really make them snaky, like really long, snaky bodies, throw some extra legs in there. Love trying. Is there anything I need to know about what? naming paintings? I don't know, I always treat it like like my favorite bands had funny like titles to their songs, like Taking Back Sunday always had long weird like titles to their songs. So I kind of treat it like naming a song. Any advice for making prints from a large canvas? Yes, get a really good digital shot. My printers use a really like expensive high tech um, camera, digital camera thing. I don't even know, it's not even a scanner. And they shoot my work for me. So when I get prints made, it's the highest quality. What's the littlest man preferred a medium create art? Oh yeah, what do you like to make? What do you like um, to use to make art? Procreate. Um, um, they probably just joined and they didn't get my name or that's they, okay. They didn't um get to meet um get to know yet. That was like the one of the first things. But feel <laughs> free if you want to um feel free if say, you want to ask. See, my name like is Everett, and I like Procreate on the iPad. Well, now you know what my name is. Yeah, he likes to use Procreate on the iPad, but we sit and draw with pen and ink on these large mat boards I have. So, got mat board. Oh, I'll show you something that nobody's seen yet. Wait, I'll show this real quick. I think I saw that. That's watercolor. It's a little oh, excerpt sorry. from my brand new book that's coming out called Drawn to the Well, which is a sequel to my book Drawn Graffiti. from the Well. Um, so, have you ever sculpted a, a piece? piece? I have sculpted a couple things, but nothing bigger that I would show anybody. Um, would you say about graffiti? Um, like, um, is there anything about graffiti you want to share? Oh, I taught this guy how to spray paint the other day. We we're, um, bored and cooped up here in quarantine. We decided to paint the back wall. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to teach, to no, it's okay, uh -huh. to teach the kids how to spray paint. So, um, yeah, I got the cans out and did a Crayola piece in the backyard. Should I take a photo and show it to them? Nah, it's okay. I'll post it later. It's actually in the in the picture we had up. Hola. Oh, somebody answered you. It says Procreate is amazing. Uh, do you okay. have the iPad Pro Apple Pencil? Oh, he oh, yeah. talked about the Apple, Apple Pencil earlier. I mean, now I'm kind of allowed to use it because he never even uses it, but it just looks better in the thing. And also I learned my lessons from it, so... Let's, um, let's tell them exactly what happened. He broke his brother's Apple Pencil, yes. and that didn't go over very well. So now he has to use his finger, but he's gotten really good with it. So. I like using the finger. Now I'm better with the finger. Yeah, I'll let you use my Apple Pencil if you want to. Just want to tell you. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, the mixing gel video helped you, Daniel. That's really good. I'm glad. If anybody wants to watch a video on um, this medium I use for slow drying your acrylics, it's in my videos. Check it out. I think we're at 43 minutes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what's your favorite color? Green. Lime-ish, I think. What's your favorite color? <laughs> green. Have, green. Yeah, what's I your like, favorite color? I like more um, bright yellowish. You should do installations to immerse the view or even more in your world. I'd love to do that. I have, I have notes and ideas written up on some installations I would love to do. Wait, do you like... Do I like Kipto? Kipto. Yeah, Kipto's red. Gotta go, thanks for video. Oh, see a lone hog. Um, should we ask them, um, like, what types of, um, like, drawing websites do you guys use? Any tips on getting, getting into a gallery? Getting into a gallery. Gosh, just get your work out, get your work in front of as many eyeballs as possible. These days with the internet, it makes things a lot easier. Okay, this person likes Procreate. But, um, let's answer, let's answer a business question here. How do you get to be a full-time artist and all that? When I, when I went to school, I went into school to be a veterinarian, but the first year I switched my major to art because I was getting art jobs because I was doing art anyways. Yeah. My first art job was making um, pogs for a baseball card company. And after that, I got into streetwear. 
right after college, I got hired at a streetwear company. And from there, I got hired the entire time, though, doing artwork of my own on the side and getting out in front of as many people's eyes as possible. I was getting into graffiti magazines and all kinds of stuff. But while I was working at the clothing company, Thank I you. made good connections with people there. They had left the clothing company to go work at Activision, which is a video game company. And I was like, I really want to go work with them. So I kept good relationships. I networked. And I brought my portfolio in. And um, the owner of the company said, we're working on uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater um, 2X at the time, which was for when the Xbox first came out. They were like, I would love to hire you. You have the skill set. I learned the computer. I, I knew how to draw. I knew how to do graffiti. I knew all these things that enabled me to get that job there where I worked for six years on titles like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. I worked on a bunch of Spider-Man games, Kelly Slater Pro Surfer, and a snowboard game that never came out. Do Spider for um, Spider-Man 2, do you work on that? I mean, do it's a like Spider a Spider-Man. Do work on Spider-Man 2? <laughs> oh, and also thank you, Christine, for keep on complimenting, complimenting me. You've done a totally undersea piece depicting only undersea creatures. Uh, well, the closest is Procession, but it's actually over the sea and there's like birds and stuff. I'm, I have a drawing in process, in progress right now of also an uh, underwater-ish scene, but I never just keep it to just underwater. And there's because... also your series um, of the um, fruit or the food ox octopuses. But that's not undersea. Oca -oca -oca. Octopuses? The yeah. octopuses <laughs> garden? All right. What are we at? Oh, um, that's a great piece. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree. Hello, Tammy George. That's my son, Everett. How old are you, Everett? Eight. I knew that. All right. Well, then I wanted to do this. Great. You mentioned watercolor. Would you use mm -hmm. hot pressed or cold pressed? Gosh, I just have those awk wash brushes filled with a little bit of like a various degree from 10% to 100%. I have like five of them and they're filled with watercolor each one. And then I kind of, I'm not even using like just a, Thing of watercolors. Sorry, I'm not a, that's not a good answer. Um, can we see my art? Um, sure. Um, I'll go see if um, go get your favorite. Using, um, the iPad, and I'll show you like the Procreate. Okay. He's gonna go get his Procreate to show everybody. We should wrap this up soon. Though. We'll get we'll show them that, and then we'll wrap it up. How long has he been drawing? He's been drawing since he's a little guy, um, probably like five or four. If we need a father and son painting. It's funny, we have a sketchbook that we kept. I, it, it's gotten destroyed, I think, through the beginning of this pandemic where I would draw something and then he would draw what I drew then I would draw what he drew and we'd go on for pages and pages. Um, I love drawing, but I, but I used to only paint in a good condition. Can you advise me? I love drawing, but I used to only paint it. Um, I'm not sure if I understand. If you love drawing, I just use pen and, just a ballpoint pen and a sketchbook for drawing and acrylic paints. Okay, and, um, I got that. Okay, so I'm going to show you my texture series. There's also, um, I did this for fun just to be um, funny. Oh. It's probably back. Is it backwards for you guys? No, weird. I think it is. So he wanted to do it. I said draw blue jay. So that's what he drew for a blue jay. Okay. Um, Where's the little characters you drew the other night? I also the drew... The little people. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, sorry. Also drew this. Um, sorry. Um, and I... And there's also this check. This is a black hole. And also... Wait. Oh, yeah, show them this. No. Okay. I don't like it. I understand. Um, so go back to this thing. I also did, like, a light fact. I call this light factors. Um, yep. All right, let's see. New art thoughts during the pandemic. What... What has your creativity pushed during this time? Gosh, it makes me want to just draw more creative places to escape to. It sucks being stuck inside. Beautiful. I love that one. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. All right. 
Any book recommendations? Um, Walton Ford is amazing. I'd say Christopher Marley is amazing. I'm very wimpy kid. <laughs> Everett says he likes Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> Mr. Simpkins, what would you say you're trying to express in your work? What advice can you give other artists on the process of creating original works? Thank you. Um, what I'm trying to express in my work, it's pretty much, um, I've always enjoyed books that have portals into other worlds, uh, whether it be going to Narnia, going to Wonderland, going to Oz, you name it. Those are the things that attracted me to storytelling and to art. And when I paint, I'm trying to paint that other world to escape into. All right. We are at almost an hour, so we're going to button up. But I have good news for everybody. I'm about to post. I'm going to go public. Go like, I'm going to post the new video right now so you guys can all watch it. All right? I'll actually just do it Thank while I'm talking to you. Being so um, candid, huge fan for a long time. Can you tell everybody thank you for uh, hanging out? Well, thank you um, for coming. This is really fun. Um, so, cool. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right, pal. I'm going to... Uh, I just went live. I mean, not live. Sorry. This is going live. I just posted public the new video. It's about a 20 minute video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And we will talk to you guys on the next one. All right, take care. Thank you, um, everyone I'm... who support, um, supported me. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, bye. Thank you, bye. Are you sure you want to stop streaming?